Welcome to Full Stack PHP Web Development Course. CSS Text CSS has a lot of properties for formatting text. The color property is used to set the color of the text. The color is specified by a color name like red, a hexa value, and RGB value. The default text color for a web page is defined in the body selector. For example, in this example, we have a body which is a black color blue so inside the body there is a h1 tag and it is applied a green color text color and background color in this example we define both the background color property and the color property we have, uh, we have applied background color with the color name value and the color with the blue color value to the body element. If I change color value, you can see all the element inside the body will be affected. However, the other element which are inside body but have their own CSS are not being affected because their priority CSS is their own element CSS. So H1 has the background color black and color white. <coughs> it will not be affected by the color applied to the body of the element, body of the HTML. We have vertical alignment property of the text which is applied to the image tag. There are five possible values for vertical align. The vertical baseline default value and here you can see images baseline to the text. The text top value for the vertical alignment and you can see images move to the top of the text. Vertical align text bottom images moved to the bottom of the text. Vertical align subscript and uh, images move to the subscript uh, of the text. Vertical align superscript and images move to this as a uh, and images moved as a superscript of the text. Now we have uh, text direction and text unicode bd if i apply direction to some ele element and direction has two possible value right to left or left to right this is applied to the paragraph element with the class ex1 and it moves text from the right to left and you can see the result is there and this is the unicode text so I use the unicode uh, rule and its value bd over right the next is the text alignment which has a possible value for center left which is default and right so three paragraphs two so three uh, header elements has the center element they have the left element and lastly the right element using the text transform property we can transform text from lower to upper case or to the lower case or capitalize 
or capitalize. So we have three paragraph with the uppercase, with the lowercase, all the character in this sentence or lowercase, and with the capitalize. CSS fonts. Choosing the right font for your website is important. Font selection is important. Choosing the right uh, font has a huge impact on how the readers experience our website. The right font can create a strong identity for your brand. Using a font that is easy to read is important. The font adds a value to your text. It is important to choose the correct uh, color and text size uh, for the font. Generic uh, Ford families. There are five uh, generic Ford families serif, sans serif, monospace, cursive, and fantasy. Serif fonts have a small stroke at the edge of the each other letter. They create a sense of formality and uh, elegance. Sans serifs uh, font uh, have clean lines, no small strokes attached. They create a modern and minimalistic look. Monospace fonts, here all the letters have the same fixed width. They create a mechanical look. Cursive fonts Im imitate, imitate human writing. Cursive fonts imitate human handwritings. Fantasy, fantasy fonts are decorative, playful fonts. All the different font names belong to one of the generic font families. Try to understand the difference between the serif and sans serif fonts. Consider some examples of generic font families. For serif, there is Time New Roman, Georgia, Garabon. For sans serif, Ariel, Vardana, Helvetica. Monospace, Courier New, Lokita's Console, or Mundoka. Cursive fonts like Brush script empty, Lukita handwriting, and for the fantasy, copper plate or uh, papyrus. The CSS font family property. In CSS, we use a font family property to specify the font of the text. We have font family Time New Roman, which is enclosed in double quotes, and then comma. The next is the Times font family and comma and third one is the serif font family all three belong to same family and should be there we have to include three fonts for the maximum browser compatibility css links with css links can be styled in many different ways <coughs> styling links Links can be styled with any CSS property, color, font family, background, etc. In addition, links can be styled differently depending on what state they are in. There, the four link states are a normal visited link, a link the user has visited, a link when the user mouse over it, a link the moment it is clicked. Styling a link depending on the state. Styling a link with text decoration property. First, first one is the unvisited link should be right because I have already clicked on it so it becomes a visited link and it is green. The next one is the mouse over link which is hover A uh, and remember the syntax A semicolon and the uh, state. When I hover over the link, it will change the color to hot pink. And the selected uh, link with the active value has the color blue. You see, as soon as I click on it, but uh, don't release the mouse button, it has the blue color. Now we can apply other properties like text decoration
and none to remove the underline let me remove the other anchor states now you will see the creation underline is removed we can apply the background color maybe yellow work we can apply the padding this is applying padding to the four side of this link and uh, we can apply the border so red and uh, maybe red red can work yes this is how a style uh, is applied to a link css list on order list looks like this order list looks like this HTML list and CSS lists list properties. In HTML, there are two main types of list. Unordered list, the list items are marked with the bullets. Ordered list, the list items are marked with the number or letters. The CSS list properties allow you to set a different list item marker for ordered list, unordered list, and or set an image as a list item marker add a background color to list and uh, list items we have a list we have an order list with the class a so an order list with the class a is applied list style type circle similarly we have an order list with the class b and uh, this class b an order list is applied list style type square as you can see in both both on order lists the next one is the order list with the class c and d when we apply list style type upper roman and lower roman it will look like this and if i remove I am going to comment so it will apply default uh, list style type to this uh, order list with the class C by default it is using the numbers we can also style list with the colors so to the order list and to the on order list we have given the background and paddings the background is the pink for the order list and uh, background for the on order list is the blue we are using the hexa values we have given the paddings if I change the padding you will see difference where it is being applied okay next is the selector for the order list and we have selected the list inside this order list don't forget the space between these two uh, elements now this particular list inside the order list uh, has uh, been applied this this css with the background the light uh, lighter pink and the color dark red padding is the 5 pixel and margin left is the 35 pixel we can change the values 15 pixel and 50 pixel for the margin left now there is a little difference when we applied our on order list list value we don't uh, use the padding and uh, only use the margin and it has given a gap between the, the list inside the on order list similarly we can apply an image for the list style for that purpose we use the list style dash dash image uh, rule and we we'll give the URL for that image if uh, image is not found the file 
list dial is applied to the list.